traditionally a symbol of surrender, but in Malaysia, a white flag has come to signify a cry for help. The campaign started on social media after stories emerged of people experiencing hardship because of the continuing lockdown. Police recorded nearly 470 suicides in the first five months of this year, compared to an average of 620 in the past two years. The presidential flat in Pataling Jaya, Malaysia, 73-year-old Hadija Nimat hung a scrap of white cloth outside her window in a desperate call for help amid the country's strict lockdown. Shortly after, neighbours came by to offer her food and other items. The hashtag Bandera Puti, or White Flag campaign, has gained momentum on social media in a bid to encourage people to help others in distress during a prolonged lockdown. Kita orang rasa a lot of policies are made without consulting us. If you want to do a lockdown, you need to do a proper, proper lockdown. That everyone stays at home and there is proper financial aid, no cash in the accounts, food in their homes, read testing and vaccination. Because the, the promise of this lockdown is trying to make the healthcare system in Klang Valley have a little breather. Tak rasa tu rehat ni. I cannot see a light at the end of the tunnel because the lockdown is not a proper lockdown. Whatever lockdown that we are doing now, right, is not addressing the main root of the problem, the main source of the infections. The lockdown is only involving those sectors that is not causing the rise of the cases. The rise of the cases lies on the industries that is not being locked down. It's like, it's like firefighters trying to put out a fire and yet there are people just adding on to the flames who really don't care that the house is burning down. Nothing can prepare us for the current extent that we are facing now. Starting early this year, we've been seeing really, really sick people. And we are not talking about elderly people. We are talking about people who are young, people who don't have any medical illness, getting severe COVID, cat 4 and cat 5. We are losing lives, you know, we are losing people mothers, fathers, children and and to know that this has come you know to our country. I'm just thinking of how is when is this going to end? So I had to come on on behalf of my colleagues because it's just heartbreaking. I know my colleagues are still fighting hard and I think what was frustrating even more is like they can't say anything, you know? Right now, every time we want to try to expose it, they will tell everyone in the mass media that station is not is under control. When we are like, hello, we are drowning here. Seorang lelaki maut selepas terjun dari tingkat tiga di pusat membeli belah suria KLCC. Kejadian dilaporkan berlaku kira-kira jam 1.52 petang. Purata dua kes bunuh diri dilaporkan setiap hari. Bank belas esalah pada peminjam.